The 100 Days Reform episode of the 1898 is a pivotal moment in China's history. Now, it's the basis for a new play written and directed by renowned stage director Tian Qinxin and adapted from a novel by Li Ao. Beijing Faiyuan Temple has come to Beijing's National Th Center for the Performing Arts, where, uh, from where Shen Li has this report. <laughs> Tian's take on the Hundred Days Reform of the ailing late Qing Dynasty offers a fascinating insight into what could be the turning point in China's history. Faced with dismal national conditions, patriotic reformists led by Kang Youwei, Liang Qichao, and Tan Sitong persuaded Emperor Guangxu to initiate reforms. And between June and September 1898, he issued more than 180 edicts. But his own aunt, the Empress Dowager Cixi, goaded by conservative ministers, bureaucrats, and military officers, stepped in, forcing him to abdicate all state power to her and executing the reformists. Tian admits it was a tough subject to take on, having produced 12 drafts of the play over a period of two years. At the time, Liang Qichao and Kang Youwei would frequent the Fayuan Temple and meet with other reformists with the same aspirations as theirs. And emperors of the Qin Dynasty would also have rituals in the temple. That's why we've staged our story there, so that the monks of the temple can have discussions with the ghosts of key characters of the Hundred Days Reform. There were many different opinions on the event, and even some unsettled cases, making it difficult to put on a show about it. But this drama is really about rediscovering the history, rather than drawing a final conclusion on it. The Empress Dowager is typically portrayed as a tyrant, but the actress who plays Cixi argues for a more nuanced take. Empress Dowager Cixi is a really complicated character. Apart from the historical archives that Mr. Li Ao has included in his novel, the director also added some newly discovered materials, including her personal journals and those of others who encountered her. In fact, one of my monologues in the play is put on stage word for word from one of the archives. So all of this added up means you will see a brand new side of her, that she actually knows what's going on in the outside world. She's also trying to work a way out. She's a dedicated administrator. And Zhou Jie, who plays the browbeaten emperor, argues conventional opinion oversimplifies his character too. People would like to see the emperors of the heydays like Emperor Kangxi of the Qin Dynasty, but Emperor Guangxu is always referred to as the weak emperor who failed to carry through the reform. For the role, I've done some in-depth research, and the more I delve into the historical records, I see that he's willing to make that tough choice and to take Kang Youwei's proposition, the constitutional reform and modernization, knowing quite well that he would have to give up his claim to the throne. But he couldn't change much in that short period of time, let alone uproot the power structure. <laughs> Other highlights during the play are the first meeting between Kang Youwei and the Emperor, and a debate between Kang and the manipulative power broker Yuan Shikai. Beijing Fayuan Temple was first stayed at Beijing's Tianqiao Performing Arts Center last December. It runs at the NCPA until January the 31st. Shen Li, CCTV, Beijing.